very good afternoon today, folks. I'd like to just spend a little bit of time talking about some of the protocols I see that Christians sometimes like to impose upon other Christians on YouTube. I'd like to just touch on some of those things. A lot of times I'll get a friend request in my inbox and very, very, very rarely, rarely will I ever not accept those friend requests. Now what I normally do is I'll click on that link and I'll take a quick gander over their profile to determine is this party an atheist or someone who's argumentative and only wants to have discourse and against the things of God and if they're secular or neutral or have any affiliation with God, even if they're heretical, I'll accept them. You know, Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, said that a man must show himself friendly. If you want to be, if you want to have friends, you must show yourself friendly. I also agree that we're not called upon to preach to the righteous. We're called upon as, as individuals to save sinners. So, sinners of every stripe, it doesn't really matter how secular they, they are. Now, if I look on their channel and they're fully entrenched in, in their heresy, I may have some reservations concerning accepting their friendship due to the fact that in large part this is probably going to result in some unwanted discourse and a waste of time. So I have to kind of render an assessment. I'm not always going to make the right call with those things, but in either case, I try in large part to show myself friendly to those parties. Now, in fairness to those parties, Paul speaks to Titus, and he says, a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Even if the party is a legitimate heretic, we should give some measure of space to have a discourse up to two admonitions. And then after the second admonition, the Apostle Paul gives his blessing concerning our separation from that party. In addition to that, the same can be said for brethren. In a lot of instances, though we may have agreements with brethren, there may be some measure of restraint to sustain a fellowship with the brother due to some doctrinal differences that bring about division within the body. So Paul speaks about, about that in Romans chapter 16, verses 17, 18, and 19. And he states, Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. And then it goes into the details concerning why we should avoid them. Now it's not that I not love that party, but to love that party effectively may require that I have to separate company from that party and let someone else give them a, a first and a second admonition. That's the beauty of YouTube is I might give them a first and second admonition and I might admonish that brother and I might separate company from that party. But I would certainly not give anyone else a hard time because they maintain that party as a someone they subscribe to and or someone that they have befriended. That's good, that's the beauty. So it may end up that another party may end up conversing with that individual to win them in the proper camp on any particular subject. So, you know, it's a game here of, as Paul says, we become all things to all men that we might by all means save some. That's what the idea here in terms of the delivery of the gospel. And same can be said with respect to our winning souls back into the areas of sound doctrine, there may be some measure of constraint whereby we are called upon on God's part to actually avoid a party and uh, let someone else pick up the slack and let someone else admonish that brother or sister to win them in favor of the counsel of the scripture. So I just thought I'd touch on some of these things. There are what I would call some YouTube police online who seem to think it's their duty to call your attention to heretics that you may have either subscribed to and or that you have befriended in, in some way. That is not by any means giving a declaration of my endorsing every position of that party. 
Now, we are not called upon to, to call the righteous. We're called upon to win sinners unto repentance, to turn them from disbelief unto belief of the faith. So I thought I'd just take a few moments here and qualify my reasonings for why I subscribe to certain individuals, why I may befriend them, and give space for myself and that party to have some measure of friendly discourse, to establish some measure of rapport, and then proceed with the delivery of the gospel message. Of course, the gospel video is right on the top of my profile, so anyone going there, that's the first video that they'll always have contact with, that's what it's there for. And of course that video is sent in large part when I make friends with parties or make contact with these parties, I send them that video and let them know what my positioning is in relationship to the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. So, you know, some people think it's wrong that you subscribe to a heretic. Some people think it's wrong that you're a friend with somebody that's a heretic. Well, I may not even have ever conversed with that party ever. I just simply accepted their invitation. And I'm waiting for an opportunity for a first and a second admonition. That hasn't taken effect yet. You know, the, the Satan Gospel is probably in large part to most of those contacts have been sent. And I'm awaiting either a reply and or another opportunity to converse with that party. So it's by no means an endorsement of heretics or no means an endorsement of a person friendship and everything that they that they believe or adhere to it's simply showing yourself friendly and opening up a door to parties that need to hear the saving gospel of Jesus Christ I don't know how some of you feel about that there's been a lot of what I would call patrolling the internet and YouTube on those grounds and I really do think it's uncalled for you know I'm if I have discourse and I separate my, myself from my, from my party, but I still see someone that I know is sound in doctrine with their subscription, I'm glad. I'm glad that they have that because guess what? Maybe that person with sound doctrine will have an opportunity to have discourse with that very same party to win them in our camp. And so, you know, after the first and second admonition I reject, and I may unsubscribe at that juncture, and I may defriend that party to send a message to them from the scripture, but I'm glad that there are other parties out there who have connections to that individual who can resume where I left off and maybe win that party either to Christ and or win them to a sounder measure of doctrine. With that said, we'll let you folks get on with your day and you have yourself a good day.